and for just the second time in 11 years, mm. the Cowboys <laughs> are starting a season 2-0. I'm a millennial, but I'm a good millennial, okay? I'm not All an right. entitled millennial. I make my own money millennial, okay? No, but I did live with my parents for a little bit because they love me, though. Now, I've seen a lot of people get caught up in my comments. Like, their boyfriend was commenting on my picture. The girl comes and in like, oh, for real? For real? Oh, oh really? No. That's oh what you're doing? They're like, yo, keep me out of it, yo. I know we've got a special guest mm -hmm. who brings that real good feel good stuff. Yo, I know him. I love Luke Bryan. First, I got to do the Kawhi Leonard laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Number two, of course, real men cry. There's no shame in crying. However, when people are talking about Joel Embiid, I mean, he is a major trash talker in the league. Made Talking it. that trash, I mean, people are going to hit you with that trash right back. Lock in interpretation. <laughs> I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? The interesting pauses that you do there. Yes, leave that to Christopher Walken, to, though. To fall <laughs> in love with you. So, kids, where are we going? Yeah, yeah that, that way. And for extra credit, float on the track that like a segue. Hey, that's actually remake Home Alone for the newer generation. What do you think about that? Are there no more original ideas left? I got an idea. I got an idea, guys. <laughs> Everybody loved Home Alone the first time. Let's do it again, but with different people. That's, well, why that's why we're all going to Netflix. It's a brand Amazon new Prime. idea. My own place, it's so nice. But you do get lonely um, a lot, but I still love my nice king bed. But what's a king yeah. bed without a king, right? Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I have never had any good barbecue in Texas. Uh. Um, you are I don't speaking care. evil. Fight me, what? So I, was, I was looking through some of the previews and Evander Kane, you know, I, I never really thought too much about hockey, but ever <laughs> since I saw that, I'm You're thinking a, a lot about hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Tupac, man, is one of my favorite rappers of all time, one of the greatest of all time. And I think about one of my favorite lyrics from him. I'd have to go uh, for changes, and it goes, as long as I stay black, I got to stay strapped, and I never get to lay back, because I always got to worry about the payback. Some buck that I roughed up way back, coming back after all these years. You know the rest? Rat a tat 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 <laughs> That's the way it is. And I think one of the best sequels of all time, Godfather 2, I mean, almost... I, I don't know. I, like, I almost feel like it could be better than yeah. I don't know. It's still tough. But to see that beautiful, youthful Robert mm -hmm. De Niro as Don Corleone, it's just, oh, I love that movie. And the EpiPen. Yeah. And it costs hundreds of dollars. If you have a child with severe allergies, I mean, that could save your kid's life if you can afford it. If you can afford your child's insulin, you're making it too expensive to afford basic health care in this country. And there's a reason why. I'm thinking everybody from the South knows how to throw down. But what's so funny is where she's originally from. Miss yes. Grant, tell us. I am originally from Atlanta. But yes. tell us about Crystal. Tell us about Crystal. Crystal. Some people say she's kind of a piece of work in the year. They told me to do one move and then they switched it up on me. Why you do me like that? You thought you weren't going to see me again. I didn't think she was checking up. I guess uh, she wasn't checking I'm up. Here. I showed up. Turned out. And in case you missed it, Ariana Grande just released another new music video. Let's take a look. Stop Wait, doesn't that sound familiar? It sounds like Pretty boy swag. Um, yeah. This right here. Hey, it's my A swag. Hey, Henry. <laughs> more big bags at Cinemark Theaters. What? what? Look here. Look here. Look here. I don't have time for this, okay? Because when I come in, I'm bringing in my <laughs> snacks, my jelly beans. I got English muffins. I have pineapple. We do it big. I might fit a plate in here as well. You have to Forecast. find a way to make that paycheck. <laughs> yeah, so yes, I'm giving out personalized traffic reports. So hashtag I am up. The Texans have the sexiest accents in the country? That was kind of surprising to me because I'm sorry, I love y'all in Texas, but sexiest accent, I don't know. So when I see a lot of these influencers and they're advertising things like flat tummy tea, when we know mm -hmm. that it's the liposuction that got you that little, little teeny mm -hmm. bitty waist, and now you're saying, oh, now I'm in the gym, it's a flat tummy tea, and that's not true. Some guys were like, well, I'm paying for the food, so now I need some of that, you know, that, that, that. And, <laughs> and, you know, and the girls are like, well, I'm not giving that, 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 and unless you put that filet mignon on the table with the twin lobster tails, so. But you don't need, you're treating the no. na for the lobster tail? Right. Come on, man. Right, think about Christian Bale, one of my favorite actors of all time. He was cast as Moses. Moses is not white. I think about Lawrence Olivia, if we take things way back, he played Othello in blackface. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson, who played a Japanese anime character in Ghost in the Shell. We well. call that Elizabeth whitewashing in yeah. roles. Oh, yes. It's called whitewashing. Mm -hmm. And so when I think yeah. about a mythical creature, a mermaid here, what's wrong with having a black girl playing that role? Let our imaginations grow beyond the ignorance here, people. And Pikachu's 
voiced by Ryan Reynolds in this new Detective Pikachu movie, which kind of gives it that sarcastic feel. And Ryan Reynolds is excellent, but Deadpool is not Pikachu. Well, what do you think are the germiest places on campus? Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Keyboards with all those dirty hands, doorknobs coming in fifth, water fountains actually are down at number 11. Twitter Blast is sticking around. Our winter weather advisory has been extended. Thank you for joining us this midday. I'm Demetria Obelor, and we want to get right over to meteorologist Greg Fields, who's been tracking all of this for us. I'm a huge horror movie fan, nice. and you know, obviously, the original Stephen King mm -hmm. novel, super scary, and then that first movie, Pet Cemetery, super scary. So I'm going to see this remake this weekend. <laughs> Sometimes dead is better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> see all of your social media this morning, and Kansas City Chiefs, Pat Mahomes for the win. You're looking right now at that mad. In 2020 cover, the 23-year-old quarterback all over it. He's the yeah, he's the cover athlete, man. He's a star. She dressed up as me for Black History Month. She said that it meant so much to see someone that looked like her on the news. Oh, oh, yeah. too, okay? It takes a lot to get up here. So the Lears. Tell us Lears. more about what it's based on, of course, but it's a comedy too. It is, it yes. is. It's based so we've got Frederick Chang here. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank as you. well as Laura Fox, the president of USA Film Festival's mm -hmm. Board of Directors. So great to have you both in the studio now. And Thank you. Uh, Frederick, uh, the legacy of Halston. I mean, there's so much that I think that could draw you to him, but for you. Mm -hmm. What was it? Okay, ladies are spending an insane amount of time on housework and it's draining us. Where are you at? Help us out. We have how to make this, yes. but Chef, I have to try it because oh, it absolutely yes. smells delicious. Absolutely, and absolutely. It looks so far. healthy. My doctor would be so proud of me. Yeah. to do anything he doesn't want to do, and for that dad to kind of set that example for his son and say that man should be reprimanded. No, you should teach your kid that, hey, you know, he's a person too. He said no, and it's okay, and we're going to live through this. We all deserve love, and yeah. I and that you found a man who validates that and confirms that on the daily, yeah. and then yeah. right there puts it puts it on a diamond. Oh, yes, we love that. Catch so just up on everything. Yes. Thank you so much for coming Thanks in for with us, Spin. It's so great to have you here. And you've been busy. We were just talking about that. You just came from South by Southwest? Yes. Today I learned the next thing I order off Amazon might arrive the next day. I think that's fantastic. I mean, I definitely love when they give me that one day option. What is rules it? that have been put in place to completely disparage people and are discriminatory? For me, this conversation's already been started. And I rewind things to earlier this year when the New York Commission on Human Rights issued, I mean, a whole new guideline banning the discrimination of hair types. And we could get an NBA champ tonight as the Toronto Raptors look to close out their series against the Golden State Warriors. So all the people who you know wouldn't sit with you at the lunch table in high school, what you say to them is, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all on me, okay? <laughs> Mike Jones, that's a tech. I know that everybody gets this idea that you have this free right turn on red. No, you're supposed to yield to traffic that has the right of way. Remember that. Don't be like this emoji here, all confused. What am I supposed to do? Now you know what to do. You yield to oncoming traffic if you have that right red light, okay? Back to you. Well, there's only really one thing left to say then, hey, Jesse. What's that? Can you feel the heat Very nice. Tonight? I would say <laughs> I do it. The evening brings hay. She's we wish good. you all a very safe. Very